The Raspberry Pi 400 runs at 1.8 gigahertz. Um, it can be overclocked to 2.2. Some people have got it a bit higher than that, but I tend to overclock mine just to 2 gigahertz. Uh, this gives it a little bit more um, speed. Not a great deal, but it's slightly noticeable in some applications. So the way do we do that? We need to edit the config text file. Uh, this is a file that loads when the Pi boots and it checks to see what uh, settings the, the Pi has and what you want to give the Pi. And you can set in there the frequency um, of, the, of the CPU. So we're going to go and change that and uh, from the boot uh, file. We can do that in terminal and we need to type sudo nano boot config.txt. So this is the config.txt file that's stored in the boot folder uh, of the SD card. Uh, you can do this from a PC. Uh, you can put the, the SD card straight into a PC and edit this file directly. Um, but if the Pi is already booted, you can do it from the Pi itself. So let me show you. This is the config.txt file. We want to go down to a section where the frequency of the CPU is, is set. We use the arrow keys to navigate this. Uh, we're in terminal at this point. So let's go down to here and you'll see there's a section here. It's all uh, commented out, which means it won't uh, make any changes. As soon as you remove that and it becomes white, that is going to actually do that command when it boots. Right now, uh, that says ARM frequency 800. That's actually from uh, a very, very early Pi. It's a standard file. So we're going to change that to 2000. Uh, we also need to give the CPU a little bit more voltage. Um, otherwise, uh, it may not boot at that speed. Uh, if you get a blank screen when you restart, there may not be enough voltage. So to do that, we do over underscore voltage equals five. Now, some people are using six. I've managed to use five um, and it's been very stable for me. Um, but if you find it doesn't boot with five, put six and uh, it should be fine. So now we want to save this file. So we do uh, control X, uh, yes, return. And that should now be saved. If you want to check that that's actually been saved, you can just repeat that command again. Um, on terminal, if you press the up key on the keyboard, it will show you your last command. Now we can press return. Uh, we can scroll down and check it's taken effect. There it is. So now we need to reboot the Pi. And in doing that, uh, we'll actually get uh, the new speed. Let's restart. Take a few moments just to reboot. Now it's going to read that file on the config text and apply those settings to the processor. Now we're back at the desktop. Up here I have a control um, app that can show you what the frequency is at any given moment. If you hover over it, uh, you can see it's 600 at the moment because it's basically idling. So if I give it some tasks to do, open the browser, go back to here and we should see frequency 2000. So we're now overclocked. It's as simple as that. Any questions, put a comment down below. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye for now.